in this video we'll be finding the value of s plus y plus z so the first thing to do here is to make this to be equation one so this is going to be my first equation and this is going to be the equation two also this is going to be equation three now i'm going to do something interesting here we want to multiply our equation one by our equation two so by doing that, we have the equation one, which is x, y multiplied by y, z, which is equals to one times two. And this equation can be written as x times y squared times z equals to two. Now, next is to divide. Let me make this to be my equation four. Now, you can divide equation four by equation three okay now we have equation four which is x times y squared times z equals to two divided by equation three which is x z over three now here we can see that um here x is common to both sides okay and um here we can have that our z is also being cancelled. So we have y squared equals to 2 over 3. So here, let me just put it right here. We have y squared equals to 2 over 3. Good. Also, we have um, multiply. Our equation 2 by equation 3. So our equation 2 is yz multiplied by xz, which is 2 times 3. So here we have y times x times z squared, which is equals to 6. I'm going to name this equation equation 5. Now divide equation 5 by equation 1. So my equation 5 can be written as x, y times z squared equals to 6. And equation 1 is the same thing as x times y equals to 1. So here, x can cancel out x and y can cancel out y. So secondly, I have z squared equals to 6. So here I have z squared equals to 6. Next, also recall I have y squared equals to 2 over 3. I have z squared equals to 6. Lastly, we want to multiply equation 1 by 3. My equation 1 is xy multiplied by x z which is equals to 1 times 3 and this is going to be x squared times y times z which is equals to 3 i'm going to call this equation 6 the same way we want to divide equation 6 by 2 so equation 6 which is x squared times y times z equals to 3 divided by equation 2 which is y times z equals to 2 y cancel out z cancelled out so here i'm going to have x squared to be equals to 3 over 2 so here i have x squared equals to 3 over 2 now these are the three values for x okay these are the three values for x now to break this down we can simplify you know we are interested in looking for x plus y plus z squared by simplification okay this can further be simplified as s squared just square each of the term plus y squared plus z squared plus 2 into parentheses x times y the cross product of them yz plus 
x z. We're writing this in the next line. We have x squared x. We have x plus y plus z. All squared to be equals to x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus x plus um, 2 into parentheses xy plus yz plus xz. Okay, now recall that my x squared is 3 over 2 and my y squared is 2 over 3. My z squared is 6 plus 2 into parentheses. If you go back to the question, equation 1 is xy, so which is 1. My equation 2 is yz, and it is 2. And my equation 3 is xz, and it is what? 3. So here we have, simplifying these two, we have verse 6, and we have 9 plus 4 plus 6 plus 2 into parentheses 6. So here we have 13 over 6 plus 6 plus 12. Solving this, this is equivalent to 121 over 6. That is, we have x plus y plus z all squared to be equal to 121 over 6. And we are interested in getting x plus y plus z alone. That is, if you square root both sides, then you can get rid of this square. So on this other side, we're going to have here plus or minus the square root of 121 over 6, which is the same thing as square root of 121 over the square root of 6, which is equivalent to 11 over the square root of 6. The next thing to do here is to rationalize. And how do you rationalize? Multiplying both sides, numerator and the denominator by square root of 6, so that we can get rid of, this, get rid of the square root. So here we can have the plus or minus 11 root 6. Root 6 multiplied by root 6 is going to give 6. So this is going to be the answer. The reason why we're having the positive side and the negative is because here we have x plus y, I mean x times y. So there's possibility of having the negative um, value and there's possibility of having the positive value. So that is what we arrive at. If you have a good suggestion or uh, alternative way of doing this, you can put that in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.